I'm Bruce Warner with Hunter Industries. Today we are going to go over the X-Core irrigation controller. We will be covering how to set the time and the date, your start times, your station run times, which days of the week you prefer to irrigate or have to irrigate, and the percentage scale on which you would operate the irrigation system automatically. The X-Core controller is what we will be covering. Our first step is going to start with the dial in up run position. Our first setting is going to be setting the time and the date. Turn it clockwise to set time and date. If you notice your display, it will be flashing. That means that it's active and asking you, do I want to plus or minus to make a change? In this case, I've got it set at 2020. I want to make it 2021. All you do is push the plus button. Once we set our year by using the plus or minus button, you hit the right arrow to advance to the month, plus or minus whichever month that you were in. Hit the right arrow, it now asks you the day of the week, plus or minus, makes your change, right arrow to the next setup, and it asks you your time. But if you'll notice to the far right, this is where you set AM, PM, or 24 hours a day. Again, you just hit the plus minus and it will move in a triangular form between AM, PM, or 24 hour. Then we're gonna advance by hitting the right arrow and it's gonna come over to the hour, again, to make the change, plus or minus to make the change. Next, by hitting the right arrow is our minutes. We can change that, either up or down. Hit the right arrow to advance to the next one and we're back at our original screen. We're going to turn our dial to start time. Notice that it is flashing. It's asking you what time do I want to start my irrigation. You use the plus or minus button to make those changes. It moves in 15 minute increments. So in this case, if I wanted to start it at 6 a.m., I am now at 515. So I am going to hit the plus button to 530. 5.45 and 6. Please take note, you noticed AM to the right is there. If it were 6 p.m., you would scroll all the way around till it changes to p.m. So in this case, we have 6 a.m., which is typically your normal watering time. If you hit the right arrow to advance, notice we've got a number 2 over here and it says off. This is a second start time. You only want to start irrigation with one start time. So now we're going to take our dial and we're going to turn it clockwise one notch to run times. This is how much time I want to put on each station. As we note here, we have a number one. So this is station number one. Flashing is the time that we want. Again, plus and minus changes whatever's flashing. In this case, I've got six minutes. So we have hours and minutes. I want to make that 10 minutes. So I hit the plus button till it's 10. I've now set my station one to run for 10 minutes. Then I will hit the right arrow and notice it goes to number two. That is station number two. There I will do the same thing. I will put whatever the run time is that I need or think that I need to run on that particular station. If you also hold it in either plus or minus, it will move very quickly. So I've set up station one for 10 minutes, station two for 30 minutes. 
you would do this for each one of the stations that you have a wire to for your irrigation system. So our next setting is gonna be water days. So we're gonna turn our dial to water days. Notice that it shows us our seven days of the week and it's flashing. Again, whenever it's flashing, the plus and the minus are what make your changes for you. Your right arrow would advance it. So right now it's flashing on Monday. If I don't want to make any changes, I just hit the right arrow and I go over to the day of the week that I am supposed to irrigate at my home. If Tuesday happens to be the day, I hit plus. Notice how the circle goes away. Then I can go to the next day. The circle's there. I'm not gonna make any changes, so that's not a day I'm supposed to irrigate. But if I moved on through at any other day of the week that I can irrigate, it's blinking, you would put the plus button. The plus button would take the big circle away and says, hey, these are the two days of the week that I'm allowed to irrigate at my home. So our next setting will be our seasonal adjustment. Seasonal adjustment, at 100%, that means that your controller is going to run the exact run times that you have put on each individual station. It's 100%. If you would have put 30 minutes as an example for a run time, it's going to run 100% of that. If I change this percentage by using either the plus or the minus to either increase or decrease, it is going to change that run time for the whole program. We're going to turn our dial to manual. Here we have our station it's flashing, it is going to use the runtime that you have in the controller as a default. But if you don't want to run that runtime, you just use the plus or minus to make the change for that specific station that you want to run. Then we turn the dial to run and it will run that station that you picked and it will run the time that you put in there. But that's not what I want to do. So I turned it to off. I don't want to run just one station. I want to run my whole program. With the dial in the run position, if you hold the program button in for about three seconds, it will come up with station number one. And I want to plus and I want to put two minutes it will run through all my stations and run for two minutes on each station. Once it is done, it will resume back into the automatic setting. This concludes the setup, manual operation, and functions of the X-Core controller. If you need further information, please go to our website, www hunterindustries.com and there's a search window at the top right. Type in anything or any question, functions, or anything that you may need pertaining to the X-Core. Thank you and have a great day.